Kendall Ganaway writes, Greetings to you all at Collider Movie Talk. I was wondering if you all have heard anything else about G.I. Joe 3 and the characters that might be in the movie. I was a big fan of the animated cartoon, so I would love to see the Crimson Guard commanders Tomax and Zaymont in the third movie. Also, I think Storm Shadow and the Baroness would be a big plus to bring back in the franchise. Thanks for all the movie news. I really enjoy watching the show on YouTube every chance I get. As far as who they would bring in if and when they do G.I. Joe 3, who knows? And we don't know anything about the film right now. The last I heard, uh, well, John M. Chu, who who did number two and was supposed to do number three and then left number three, thank goodness, because I did not like the job he did with number two at all. Uh, despite having the rock in it, they, they kind of <laughs> they they blew that film. Actually, neither of the first two films have been very good. Really, the first one wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I actually didn't think the first one was wretchedly hof- awful. I didn't. I thought it was there was some redeeming qualities to the first one. The second one, I thought the first one was better than the second one. Anyway, um, the last I heard, director DJ Caruso came on board, and this is around April, I believe, came on board to direct and redevelop a new script for because I guess they got rid of the old script they had for GI Joe three. Now, Crusoe's directed films like Disturbia, which I think he did a really good job on, Mm -hmm. Um, Eagle Eye, which I also thought he did a really good job on, and I Am Number Four, which I will leave that to you to decide what you thought of his job on I Am Number Four. But (laughs) generally speaking, I kind of like this guy's sensibilities and his direction. I think he could be a a really nice choice to direct G.I. Joe 3. But that was in April. I haven't heard anything else since or any movement. So, Snap, what have you heard anything about this, and what would your expectations be going into a G.I. Joe 3? I've heard absolutely nothing. My expectations are medium, which is like well, I thought the first film was, yeah, it was okay. And the second one was like, yeah, it's just like the first one, okay. I didn't hate them and I didn't love them. I thought, you know, I expected more out of a G.I. Joe film because the animated series, especially the last one that uh, that they put together was pretty fantastic, I thought. Um, so, you know, whether they're going to make a G.I. Joe 3, they're just w- losing money, I think, the more they wait. They should just get on it. So mm. There is a, it's a franchise. Mark? I remember here in the Caruso room, and that was the last I've heard of anything new. Uh, I like G.I. Joe Retaliation just fine. G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, I actually got up about 40 minutes in, walked my tuckers out the door and said, I will take my business elsewhere because this is a pile of garbage. <laughs> I did not like the first G.I. Joe at all. I hated it, and I gave Channing Tatum the most crap of all, and then he became a really good actress. So if I criticize you, don't worry. In five years, you're going to be a huge success <laughs> negotiating your deal for your standalone X-Men movie. I'd like to see another G.I. Joe 3. I like the second one. I, I thought it showed promise. Let's have more. 